Howdy, y'all. How you doing today? You look scrumptious. Hi, beautiful. Thank you for being here. It's remarkable to be lucky enough to be in the presence of somebody so remarkable looking. Thank you. Thank you. Today we're watching some people do some quarantine hair color. We did quarantine haircuts and now we're moving on to color. Dude, whoa! Somebody tweeted at me yesterday that I must have a lot of content because of what's going on in the world. And I just wanna say yes, that's true. And thank you guys for making all the content. Greatly appreciate it. Oh, wow. And today is a sponsored moment. Can we get an applause? Woo! Today's video is sponsored by Honey. Thanks, Honey. Thanks for sponsoring. You're my honey. So what is Honey? Well, glad you asked me. I could hear you through the screen. Online shopping should be easy, right? So why is finding online coupons so hard? It shouldn't be. And with Honey, it's not. Honey is the free online shopping tool that helps you find promo codes and applies them to your cart. How it works. Imagine you're shopping on one of your favorite sites. Sephora, Target, Etsy. And when you check out, a little box drops down and all you gotta do is click apply coupons. And then just wait a few seconds for it to scan promo codes from across the internet. And then watch the prices drop. Honey saves me money every time I go shopping on Sephora. Here I am buying just a few items, just a few things that I don't need. And then at checkout, I used Honey and it ran through all the coupons and it saved me $23.40, which means I can buy more things I don't need. Honey has found it's over 17 million members, over $2 billion in savings. Honey supports over 30,000 stores. By not having Honey, you could be literally passing up free money. Get Honey for free at joinhoney.com slash Brad Mondo. It's free to use and installs in just two clicks. That's joinhoney.com slash bradmondo. And thank you, honey, for sponsoring today's video. It's like kind of dope or whatever. Love you. With that all said, you guys, let's watch some people botch their hair out of board. Let's do it. Oh, I got my horse. Is that how they do it? They just... No, you go. They go like this. And they go. What are they trying to get? Oh, they're trying to like cat they get the cattle. What are they trying to do when they wrangle things in? Just like wrangling things. Like, what's the point? Honestly, though, I've never felt better than I do in this hat. It's just the truth. Like, I'm just a little gay cowboy. I just want to wrangle some boys in. It's like whatever, you know. It's like not a big deal. Let me be me. I'm quirky. Our first video, ladies and gents, is by Kylie Iris. And this one is called Boredom Made Us Impulsively Bleach Our Hair Fail. And the first comment is Bleach Doesn't Lather. Brad Mondo. I said that once or twice before and I will say it again. I will say it again and again and again. Welcome back to Quarantines. Yeah, Quarantines? Regrettable decisions. We're bored. You know what that means? It's time to dye your hair. One hundred percent. I trust you. <laughs> I will say her hair looks really good. If she did that herself, I am impressed. All the salons are closed right now, so we weren't even gonna dye her hair, but we're like, you know what? Let's bleach on his head. Well, and technically, I've wanted this for a long time. Yeah, I just it's. It takes so long to achieve it because I'm literally like I have black hair. She Maybe does have dark hair. Bleach and tone on this girl's whole head. We're just oh going white and what the infamous TikTok bang <laughs> trend. That's kind of ugly, but I'm still gonna do it's it. It's actually really cute. <laughs> no, it's cute. Mm, is it though? You guys can pray for us right now and hope our hair doesn't fall out. We're hair gods, of, love you. I feel like every single time people dye their hair is because they're having a mental breakdown. Would you say we're at that point? I'd say we're past that point. <laughs> I think we've been past that point for a while. I have passed the point of a mental breakdown like two months ago. I am fully embracing this new life of Isolation. Is the embrace going well? I don't know, but I'm embracing it. Uh, well, this is gonna be hard because she has like one inch of roots. Her hair is black, level five, and they are trying to go platinum blonde at home with probably very little supplies. All the hair dye was sold out at Sally's. It took us like two weeks for the supplies to come in. Sonia's biggest fear is that her hair is gonna fall out. All the hair Ooh, dye supplies are sold out? Professional. I've been bleached my what? hair fifth grade. Insert a picture here, okay? What could go Yes! You made your hair look like this once. If I could do that, I could do it too, right? I'm so excited for you. <laughs> so we're just gonna talk about how we got to this point. What made you wanna just 
have white hair. And why did you think I could achieve that? <laughs> I don't have much of a choice. <laughs> You know, it's either me doing it or you doing it. Both terrible choices. So your friend doing it maybe will be a little bit better just because she can see the back of your hair. Your hair is so soft. Let's hope it stays that way. Are you maybe shot? No, it'll oh probably God. be dead after. She's using 30 volume. Because this has been under my cupboard for like four years. Honestly, it does last a very long time. It's probably fine. We only use the most quality. Oh, I love a good trash bag moment. Okay, she looking kind of cute. Yes, she no is. Look at her little trashy. Yeah. So, with your roots here, do you want me to try to feather it? I need these girls as my friends. I love people that don't give a f Especially when they're my clients and they're like, do whatever you want. And I'm like, for real? Whatever I want? Like, what if I made it your hair green or yellow? Would that be okay? They'd be like, yeah, it's fine. I'm like, what well, orange? Is orange okay? You think orange is okay? And they're like, well, literally anything you want. What about a rainbow? Are you okay with a rainbow? And they're like, Brad, whatever the f you want. And I'm like, well, okay, you should have just said that in the first place. Do you remember like third grade when people would like Kool-Aid dip dye their hair and it'd be like a straight line? People still do that. That's what this is gonna look like. No! Brad Mondo's watching this crying. Please don't let this unqualified blonde touch your hair. Just see your hair fall out. <laughs> So weird now that everybody just mentions me in their hair videos now. I don't know why that weirds me out. I thought I was just like in my own little corner on YouTube. And now it's like, I'm not anymore. Where's my corner? I want to go back to my corner. It's like at the salon. It's like, look down. Look down. Your <laughs> neck's like, yeah. Look down. Look down. My neck's at like a 90 degree. <laughs> What, what do you call that hair color? Cheetah print? Kylie did it. That's completely me. Can you put your head down? And then it goes back up like five seconds later. Can you put your head back down? Can you put your head down? And I'm like, <laughs> I just like bang her head against the table. <laughs> I'm sorry. I shouldn't do that. We have finished the bottom layer. I'm living for this technique. Oh, looking bright. She sectioned. Oh and I can see that. Oh no, I lied. I hate this technique. Uh oh, that's on your roots. <laughs> well, there's no going back now. No, 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 Why is she doing that? Why are you dumping the bleach on her head? I understand, guys. It's like fun. It's like fun. It's like, oh my God. Like, uh -huh, like we might fuck up our hair. But like, do you really want to have bad hair? Like, is that the goal? Anyways, she just dumped bleach on her hair. On her existing blonde hair, plus her black roots, it is going to be all different colors all throughout her hair. And hopefully your hair doesn't snap off. I love how we were going to leave the roots and now it's just not. I mean, when in doubt, we can always like, Get brown and do a shadow root. Oh, she's gonna do a shadow root now. It's going light. Really? It's, yeah. Imagine they did it like this at the hair salon and they're just like. <laughs> Bleach as a lather. My hair falls out. Oh, it stinks. I wish this is how we did it at the hair salon. Oh, it'd be so good for me because I have no patience. Sometimes I really do just want to take the bleach and just dump it on people's heads and just be like, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry because it came out good. Like, I don't know. It's just like a lot of work. I just don't want to have to do it twice. So I'm just trying to like really get it. Listen, I am so happy <laughs> that she put so much bleach on. She put so much on. It is like a creamy white film over her hair. That's exactly what you're looking for when applying lightener. The second the brush went on my hand, all the things I remembered about bleaching just disappeared. <laughs> this doesn't feel right. Okay, I'm glad they used foils. This is gonna help warm up the hair and make sure those ends um, get nice and light and the roots get light, except her ends are already light. So I would have probably recommended not using foils on the ends and just using it on the top of the hair to heat it up and get it to process faster to match the ends of your hair, but that's okay. We can't be perfect, you know? Hey! Hey! What the f happened? Oh, <laughs> You're on the right. Mine is like one of those tri-colored popsicles. <laughs> I got blonde, brown, orange. We got a Neopolton ice cream situation. Oh. <laughs> The one thing I don't know today is how they're gonna fix it. Oh, she better not overlap that bleach again. I will tear apart this computer. I'll tear apart something. Did we fail? I like it. <laughs> you look like I a like hockey it. boy. Yeah. This girl doesn't give a <laughs> shit. <laughs> With yours, it's only your roots. Yeah. This is nice. This, it's like a nice white. Yeah. Okay. 
orange. This is what I like to call a hair fail. This is why you don't dye your hair impossibly in quarantine. But guess what? We're gonna turn a hair catastrophe to I don't know. A worse hair catastrophe? Fix this, okay? We tried the Sally's hair dye professional mixing route. No, we're gonna fucking Walmart box dye this. I can just see it go even more orange. It'll like darken it. <laughs> I have faith we're gonna fix this. Like, how did I miss that? Oh, yeah, we're gonna be sectioning this time around. Oh, f yeah. Fly the oil, look, the yellow just pops out. Round two begins. I couldn't do it twice. I couldn't. There's no way. I could not go through this again. We're already it's not even out. coming out. Oh. Well, she just squeezed so hard. I mean, at least she's just doing the root. Is this bleach like it was shampoo? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It doesn't really work like that. Uh-uh. Or you had some Cheeto patches going on. Do you know why, guys? Do you know why it doesn't work like that? Because bleach doesn't lather. Bleach doesn't lather. I think I'm going to make a bleach that lathers so I can contradict myself before somebody else does. Time for toner. <laughs> oh my god. It does to prove that toner really does fix everything. <laughs> we fixed it. But oh! I'm covering this part down here because it's kind of Oh, I wonder what they toned with. Over mine again. But I think Sonia's looks really good. Hers is like a white, ashy platinum. I mean, it feels like, hey, it's honestly not even that bad. No. I think it looks good. I feel like we did a good job. Is it perfect? No. Is it wearable? F yeah. This is a quarantine color. I accept what's going on. You know, the roots are a little yellow still. The back has some some spotting. The other girl, her bangs are kind of, you know, multicolored still. But these issues can also be resolved with a good toner, like a root and end formula, instead of just doing one thing on the entire head. Giving the roots a little bit of a dimension would help a lot. But that also involves a lot of like technical techniques. Yeah, sure, whatever. We'll go with that. <laughs> Let's move on to the next video. Our next video is by Kylie Shell. And this is quarantine, maybe bleach my hair. Someone called Brad. I bought some box dye and today we're gonna make me blonde. So let's see how this goes. Okay, so I guess we just plop it on there for 40 to 60 minutes. It's not me, it's the box dye. Not like I just like hate box dye for just like no reason. It's just that you don't know what you're getting in the formula. And I don't know why people when like bleach, powder bleach doesn't work, they then turn to box dye and think it's going to help the situation somehow. I don't know what the logic is behind that. That's not how it works. You start at the back. Why no, you did you not read the instructions? You don't start at the roots. What's that say? I don't want to start at my roots. That's how you do it though. But not at the front of my hair. I want to start at the back of my hair. Cause look how light the top of my hair already is. You know it's going all over your hair, right? If you put it on top first, it's on the top longer. And I'm already light up there. Yes! You know this girl watches my videos when she said that. You know it. That is correct. You want to sit the longest on your ends. I also want to mention, guys, I see a lot of people doing the ends first and then the roots after now that they know that because I say it all the time. However, it's important to let the color sit on your ends for at least like 15 minutes before then doing the roots. It's not enough to just apply to the ends first. You have to let it sit longer on the ends first and then go back and apply the roots. She's looking like she's doing a good job. She's like really like, she's like, getting in there. She's raking it through. You know, we're applying a lot of product, it looks like. But the only bad thing is that it's this is box color and it looks like she's colored her hair before, so it probably won't work. <laughs> you can bleach it all at once or do it in stages and it doesn't matter. But the thing is, is that there's bleach under the brown. So there's technically already bleach in my hair. It shouldn't be that difficult to make my hair blonde. So color doesn't lift color. I've said this many times. So she just said she has blonde under the brown. You can't lift color with color. You can't, the box dye is not going to lift because it's not bleach. I want something to happen. I want it to be good. I want to have fun. Maybe like this will be strong enough to just lighten her hair no matter what, even though it's color. We are putting more and more. Oh, we got, we got the bag on. Good. I got my head real, real I'm glad we're incubating. So the brown that was in my hair wasn't my actual hair color, it was dye. And underneath that was platinum blonde. So I think that's why it's lifting so quick because there's already so bleach in my hair. If we're lucky, the brown she has over her blonde is just a demi-permanent color and will just lift out just because she's putting a developer on top of her hair and those molecules will just fall right out, hopefully and she'll be nice and blonde. My roots are just like totally blonde oh, at the ends. They're not blonde. How much ginger? 
Ah, that's exactly what I thought was gonna happen. What is this currently? This Ooh, is yeah. That's your, that's your hair. I'm ready to go to Walmart and uh, get another box dye and I think grab some toner too, I'm not sure. And we're doing it again with more box dye with an insane amount of ammonia and a developer we don't know the level of. I love it. I put some purple shampoo in it and I'm gonna let it sit in there for a few minutes. Uh, I'm scared. Me Honestly, too. where's Brad Mondo when we need him? I'm over here. Now I need him. I'm right here. Feels like hay. Uh-huh. And I still have some pretty brown spots. Right. I love that. It's actually not it. bad. I'm so scared to brush it. It feels terrible. It looks terrible. It looks a little dry. It was a poor decision on my part. You need some prismatic glow in your life. Can't go back. So who knows? I might put a color over it. I don't know. The world may never know. Well, the world will know because you ended up coloring it pink, which is the next video. Let's check up on the update and let's see what she does. The follow-up video is called Quarantine Made Me Cut and Dye My Hair Pink. Don't worry, Brad. I wanna let you know something. I am very worried. This pink does not look dark enough. Purple. Right, we're processing oh. right now. It's just how we're looking so. Well, it looks better, actually. I take that back. Okay, we just washed it out and this is what it looks like. And I take it back again. It was not dark enough. <laughs> but now we're gonna cut my hair. Actually though, the color is not bad because it goes from like a deeper uh, pink to a lighter pink. And I feel like it'll actually look really nice. I mean, what's the worst thing could happen right now, right? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I can shave my head. This girl doesn't give a either. The first girl didn't care. The second girl didn't care. Oh, boy, it does not look even whatsoever. Oh God. <laughs> Maybe you need to turn and face me. Let me do the front when you face me. Okay, is that better? I don't know. I can't see. That's the last clip I have. That's all I have <laughs> now. I don't know what happened. And obviously I've watched it a few times, so it's really not pink anymore. It's actually kind of cute. I like it way better than what she began with. So we're on to something good. My hair dye finally came in. This is what we're using. Cotton candy. That is not gonna be dark enough either. This time. Okay, that actually looks kind of dark. So that's that good. Ain't no cotton candy. <laughs> this is gonna look so good though. It's also important when you're using Demi Permanent color to wash your hair before using it. That way the little holes in your hair are ready to be filled. They are nice and cleaned out. There's no oils blocking the little crevices in your hair and it can really attach to your hair strongly. I think a lot of it's gonna wash out. I think this is gonna look so good. <gasps> this is what it looks like dry. It's not really showing up as vibrant as it actually is, but like it's super vibrant in real life. But I kind of feel like and look like a pink highlighter and I don't hate it. This is her color. This is what she needs to always have. This is it. She looks so good with pink hair. Whoa. Oh my God. Whoa. That was weird. Maybe one day I'll figure out what just happened, but like, I don't think it's today. I don't think today's the day. Thank you for that. That like kind of cured my depression. So let's move on. And our last quarantine hair color moment is by Taylor Cyril. Cyril. Bleaching and dyeing my hair like an e-girl in quarantine. We're gonna be cutting my hair, dyeing my hair pink, dyeing the rest of my hair almost black. Whoa. Uh, I am not going excuse to you. two strands in the front. I did my sister's like that yesterday and it was so cute, but I'm gonna do a chunk. Ooh, fun. So I'm gonna do pink, the 40 volume developer, and I'm gonna be cutting it to, I'm using shorts, shorts. Shorts cut. And it's the shade, um, Dark chocolate. Cool, that looks well, like your hair color already, dark. but. Because let's say I were to do the pink first and I was like, whatever. And then I did this on the rest of my hair. When I washed it, this could possibly bleed onto the light parts. So I'm gonna get the dark over. Yes. Okay, so we have it brown in the back now. Developer. 30 volume developer. 30 and 40 together, it makes 35. Yes, that's true. Because I don't think you're supposed to like completely use 40, so. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. Half of this. Yes, that is such a good idea. All you gotta do is add up the the two developers, so 30 plus 40 is 70, and divide by two. That goes for any combination of developers. You can add up 10 and 20, 30, divide by two is 15, which makes it a 15 volume developer. You can do with any developer combination. And then the bleach I got, my favorite bleach, is the Wella Color Charm. I love Wella Color Charm, I really do. This is good. It's virgin pink. Ooh, we love Arctic Fox. Make sure it's a little thicky. I'm, I'm excited. Measuring. And she's making it thick. That is such a good idea so it doesn't dry out really fast. These gloves are literally stained pink from yesterday. Typically the thinner the bleach is, the faster it dries out and the less it processes. Starting at my end, starting at my ends, Brad Mondo. <laughs> 
Why does everything smell like fish? I'm starting to think it's my coochie. <laughs> it looks like I missed some in there. I don't even know and I really can't tell. It turned out exactly how I thought it was. Ah, shoot. Oh, I don't have to touch my roots, so that's good. Okay, well, I mean, it's a start. Hopefully she just bleaches the ends again and puts them in foils again and just gets everything evened out. The only thing I'm upset about is I got this piece right there. Ooh, a little, little bit of bleeding over there, huh? So I'm gonna blow dry this. Okay. I'm gonna have to bleach again. So Thank God. Kind of stuff. My hair is screaming right now. Your hair will be fine. I think it'll be fine. I really hope that this lightens enough. I will not cut my hair off, period. I don't think it'll fall off. Oh, we're just putting the pink right on. Okay, well, that's also something we can do. Maybe the pink will be dark enough. I now have a bag on my head to go over that yellow hair. I'm going to leave it for like 40 minutes and I will. It'll be more of an orangey pink probably, like a coral. <gasps> So I guess I'm just gonna sleep on this and then in the morning. What the oh f happened? Yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't really know. Oh! It's not pretty. It's not good. It's pink, so, so what I wanted, can't really complain. It's definitely pink. It's tanned and hopefully whenever I get ready later, I don't hate it and I hope that it's cute. Please, please. This is how my hair turned out. So happy with it. I think it's dope and this little strand is so cute. I just pulled it over to the side. It makes my eyes super blue and I feel pretty. What is going on today? How are these girls doing this? That looks incredible. You look so cool. I love it so much better than what you started with. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. Yes, this is exactly what you needed. I actually love the brown color you put on the back. I think it's perfect to complement the pink in the front. I love the placement of the pink. I think it's so edgy, so fun and so young and so cool. 10 out of 10, great job. Well, that was very surprising at how great all those came out. I mean, like the first one, you know, it could have just, just could have been a little bit better. I will say that it could have been a little bit better. The last two though, whoa, holy smokes. Like, hello, that was what I wanted. That was it. You guys all did a really great job though for doing that at home with limited supplies. I'm proud of you. I'm a proud father. My girls did it. All right, you guys, don't forget to follow me on all the different social media networks, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter under Bramondo NYC. You can also find my Snapchat show and my my Facebook page and a Facebook group under Brad Mondo, I think the name is. Also make sure you check out xmondohair.com if you want beautiful, fabulous, amazing, glowing, healthy hair. It'll be linked below or you can go to xmondohair.com and also follow us on Instagram at xmondohair for updates on new product launches happening very soon. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I will see you next time. Bye guys. This is Force Field, our heat shield. Force Field will protect your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Not only does this have heat protection technology in it, but we also have conditioning properties and hold properties. So that way your hairstyle will last you all day and all night and feel and look incredibly healthy and beautiful.